Hi, uh, today I will show you uh, how to find the maximum bolt force uh, when the like when you have a shear force which is eccentric. Let's say in this example we have a force P which is uh, away from the bolt center here. So here we need to find uh, what is the maximum bolt force on any of the bolt. For that I have created an excel sheet so where you can give uh, as my number of rows and columns so let's say you have 10 by 10 so if you give it will calculate so all the forces and it will tabulate the maximum forces okay so today i will take you with one example okay so it will goes up to like it will do a lot of calculation like to do manually it takes a lot of time to find uh, maximum uh -huh. bolt force okay so there are two methods out there generally one is uh, elastic unit area method and another one is instantaneous uh, center of rotation so uh, i don't know much about instantaneous uh, center of rotation method so i'll just go with the uh, elastic unit area method which is uh, pretty easier so here you have to find ix iy and i know the dissemination of i x plus i y and vertical force when there is no eccentricity is load divided by number of bolts and when you have eccentricity so you're multiplying with your eccentricity and centroid the same for horizontal force okay so i'll show you one example now and i will attach the excel sheet in the video description for the same okay so i'll take this lrfd um, load so i'll just uh, uh, like go and put in the values okay so here okay so i have uh, three rows of bolt and two columns so three rows and two columns okay okay and then we have a picture of like distance between the bolt uh, three inch three inch okay and uh, we have a gauge distance uh, um, between the bolt is five and a half so 5.5 okay fine and uh, what i have to know here is okay and then what is the load input so since we are going with the uh, like lrft method so the factor load i'm taking that is 24 kips just to verify calculation so here i'm giving uh, 24 and what is the eccentricity eccentricity is 12 inch so which is already there 12 inch okay and you can find the here description what all the other details so like you need so now i'll just uh, click the button and this is done using um, um graph excel graph so it will just give you a visual uh, um, of uh, like how the boards are arranged so okay so here are uh, three rows and two columns of bolt okay so we will go one by one verifying the result so first thing is you are x square okay so let me check what is x square x square that is your 45.375 that is summation of your ix okay so that is uh, 36 36 here that is summation of your y y square and then you take up uh, iy that is summation of x square so summation of x square is 45.375 uh, 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 so that is uh, like same uh, 45.38 so polar moment that is just uh, summation of both summation of both so that is 81.37 so 81.38 and vertical so this is simple so just load 24 what we input divided by 6 so load divided by 6 so that's what i'm getting here and then vertical force due to eccentricity okay so here for this 9.73 so 9.73 same what we are getting and then horizontal force horizontal is 
resultant 0.62 same okay and then you have resultant that is 17.36 so we're also getting 7.36 so the excel sheet is validated and you can use it for as many like uh, number of volt uh, um, volt details so you will get the uh, accurate result make sure you are giving input properly uh, so that you will not have any issue so you can do trial and error and you can run for more number of bolts as well so there is no restriction for input like you can give as many input as you want so it takes all that and it will calculate for each and everything and you will you only need summation so maximum value or summation of the values okay so you can find here hope this will be useful you can download the excel sheet in the um, oh, description thank you